hi everybody this is julissa thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel thank you so much for listening in the podcast it is monday april 15 2024 i'm here to give you breaking news we just learned that a very famous uh, bishop was just stabbed during his sermon in australia and as you guys know australia has just went through a mall attack that happened over the weekend but just um monday night for them over there obviously the time changed on monday night this famous preacher uh bishop which i see him a lot on tiktok i'm sure once you see your his face you know who i'm talking about his name is um Ma bishop mar mari emmanuel okay he was stabbed during his sermon last uh, monday night australian time okay monday april 15 australian time and this was caught on camera okay and the crazy thing about this is just it was right after the mall attack that happened in australia okay this bishop preaching giving his sermon and you can see the video is very graphic i don't think i'll be able to put it here he was stabbed multiple times by somebody who was targeting Christianity. So there have been a lot of conflict after this attack with the local police in Australia and the people um, around the, the church, the synagogue where he was at, saying, you know, to just release the accuser, I guess, so that they can take care of, take care of business, I guess you can say. But it is so crazy because um, we see everything that's happening. This is why I got me so shaking. You know, I usually don't make videos this early, but we see everything that's happening. And then this persecution that has begun already against Christianity, okay? And then you see the American church, once again, I'm speaking about it because there is also another video, which I'm going to make later today about Mark D Driscoll and what he said at a men's conference, right? And how he complained about um, what was happening at the men's conference. And you see all of that, and then you see there's like a, a big difference when you see big productions being made in the American church to entertain people for a moment that they don't even know their name, they don't even know their, who, who they are, just for that entertainment purposes. And then people who are preaching, giving sermons, right? They're being attacked, okay, because of their, their belief in, in Jesus. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, he's a bishop, you know, um, he's Catholic or whatever, right? Um, this is about people being persecuted for preaching um, Jesus Christ. Well, the American church is so busy creating productions, using big budget, instead of giving that money to the poor, like the Bible says, give to the poor, okay? Not just give 5% and then 50% use it on production, um, big big production and creating you know having like uh you know fire and cars sliding all over the place so that people can be entertained when you know right now the economy is crazy there are people who cannot even afford groceries and all the money is being used for these conferences and things like that and letting it slowly the enemy walk into the church right holding hands and then people are preaching sermons and being stabbed okay and this happened in australia and it is so crazy so keep this bishop in your prayers once again his name is bishop mar mari emmanuel was speaking at wake wakeless christ the good shepherd church and he this man jumping i saw the video jumping and started stabbing him multiple times the police said that he obtained non-life training stab wounds but this is shocking um i cannot imagine going through so, something so traumatic like that so keep him in your prayers also guys we have to say um you know that jesus there's so many signs and we should be ourselves saying you know jesus is coming back soon all of that and I understand there's so many other people who just want to go life according to plan. Like I tell you, there are people who are so comfortable right now. And I'm not judging nothing like that. It's just so weird to see it because we see Bible prophecy um, fulfilling one after the other. Bible prophecy fulfilling. And people are like, oh, you, you know, it's almost like they will see the sign in the clouds and they'll see Jesus return. And they'll be like, you think he can come tomorrow? Because I have a, a birthday party that I just pay for catering for 
you can we can postpone this just busy with the cares of life and not paying attention to everything that's happening so let me read to you briefly exactly what happened to the bishop. It says here, an Australian bishop was stabbed multiple times as he was delivering his sermon Monday night in an attack that came just day after six people were stabbed to death at a nearby, nearby mall. Footage posted online uh, Monday shows Bishop Mary, um, Mark Mary Emanuel, excuse me, Speaking at Wakely Christ the Good Shepherd Church, when an unidentified man in a black hoodie conf confronts him, the bishop appears to try to talk to the man, who then stabs the bishop face and neck. And yes, I do believe 100% not, it's not being fearful. It's being like aware of what's happening. I do believe that a lot of churches also need more security. Okay, because people will be like, well, don't you trust the Lord? Well, do you trust the Lord? You get in your car without your seatbelt? Like, it's just stupid to even say something like that. You know, because people do complain. They'll be like, why does this church have so many security? Well, well, people are crazy. Okay? And the persecution has begun. Like, people think that we should be like, you know, um, don't, you know, just let them do whatever. Like, no. God doesn't call you to be a fool either. You need to be aware of the situation, everything that's happening. So yes, you know, they need more security. Um, the churches in America, that's what I'm referring to. I think to see the beauty of the bishop and to see how this man was just able to walk right up to him and stab him, that's also like, wait, where, where's security here? Okay, what what's going on? So that happened, guys. I just wanted to come briefly and tell you um, what's going on in Australia, as, especially, specifically after what happened at the mall a couple of days ago where six people were, were killed, and also what happened with the bishop being stabbed just last night, being stabbed during his sermon in Australia. So keep the bishop in your prayers. I'm going to see if I can put some uh, photos here so you know who I'm talking about. Uh, like I said, I, I see him many times on TikTok. So let me know um, what you guys think about everything that's happening. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel again. Keep the bishop and everybody in that congregation in your prayers. Have a good day, everybody. God bless. This is Julissa. I'm here to invite you to my podcast, Julissa Designs, and it can be found on Anchor, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. You can join me every day as I make episodes of the latest news, real life stories, and I also share my favorite Bible verse. Hope to see you then. God bless. Everybody, this is Julissa. Thank you so much for coming to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you want to know more about me, you can always visit www.julissadescience.com. Have a great day, everybody. God bless.